Okay, here I'm giving you two different functions. One function named f and another one named g. All I want you to do is evaluate the following. If I say evaluate f of negative 7, what do you think that means? F is not negative 7. F is the name of the function. X is negative 7. I'm going to replace X with negative 7. Now, huh? What you, you said F is negative yes. 7. Well, is That's not this. uh-uh. Like if, if you say is, is means equals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making math a technical language and it's not. Math is just very touchy-feely. I'm sorry. So instead of x I'm using parentheses. Are, am, I, am I okay doing that? Are you okay with me doing that? Of course you are. Because I've got the power. <laughs> Inside the parentheses I put negative 7. This right here, this line, is 0310. Everything else you do after this is 0306. It's pre-algebra. This is PEMDAS. This is order of operations. If you can't finish this, I have very little sympathy for you. It's really sad when we don't know how to work with science. Doesn't it make you want to cry? I can see it in your <coughs> eyes. The tear. You, you want to sob. You want to cry. Suck it up. I won't stop till I get enough. Come on. So what do I have here? What does this become? It has become okay, so that's seven squared. Negative seven squared is positive forty nine. That's positive forty nine with a minus in front, so that's minus. Three minus a positive forty nine. Forty nine. So what's three minus forty nine? Forty six. Bless you. Negative forty six. And that's all I have to do. Es todo. <coughs> Bless you. Are we finished? You <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Bless you. Do you need a tissue? Are you done? <laughs> you know what? Because of the love that I have for you. <laughs> you <laughs> g of seven thirds. What are you gonna do for g of seven thirds? Uh, I'm gonna replace the x with seven thirds. No, nope. notice I gave you two functions up here, right? Yes. Which one am I gonna use? G. G. Yeah, use the use the g that you be. So <laughs> I'm gonna use parentheses for the x now minus eleven. Always do it this way, and you'll be in good shape. So instead of the x, I'm replacing it with 7 thirds. So yeah, just working with fractions. This is 28 thirds. Now wait a minute, this is 11 over 1. I need to make that guy into thirds as well. So what does he become? It's just fractions, guys. That's 33, right? So 28 thirds minus 33 thirds is what? Come on, guys. Negative 5 thirds. This is going to be a good portion of your test where all I'm asking you to do is to plug in numbers and just do some arithmetic. That's got to be fun, right? Easy points. Say again? Mm -hmm. well, not a lot would be fractions, but there will be enough to keep you honest. But the fractions aren't bad, as long as you don't have to add or subtract them. I'd rather just multiply Oh, sure. Multiplying fractions is the, the bee's knees. <laughs> Am I saying that right? <laughs> All right, what if I say evaluate f of... I know you guys like fractions, so you were just talking about that. f of... Two fifths. 
Now keep in mind, you, you may want to make a little note here since it's kind of off the page, but f of x is 3 minus x squared. So that means I need to do 3 minus, well, whatever my input value is squared. So what do I get? That's 2 fifths. All right. Well, you said you like multiplying fractions, so squaring is the same thing. So what do we have? So it would be 2 times 2 is 4 fifths. You're squaring this. That means you square the numerator and denominator. 2 fifths times 2 fifths is? 4 over 25. Now since I've got a whole number, put that over 1. What's that common denominator? 25. So you got to put in that missing factor of 25. So 75 over 25 minus 4 over 25 is equal to what? 71 over 25. And then we're all happy. Right? Hey. Questions about that? Comments? So there's no, no, um, there's no reducing and adding subtracting fractions. That is incorrect. Sometimes we do reduce. You have to combine and see if there, you know, maybe there's a common factor. In this case, 71 is prime. And the only thing it could have reduced with 25 anyway, it had to have had a factor of 5. five. But it didn't, so there's no more simplifying here. 75 and 25 can reduce, but that takes us going up the wrong way. We convert 3 to 75 over 25 so that we have a common denominator so that we can combine those guys. Don't look at this as 75 over 25. Look at it in the whole problem that you're combining it with something else. So you have to adjust yourself so you can then become one.